This is definitely the most important tutorial I've made yet. Before you start any new world, whether it's for speedrunning or just creating some kind of challenge, you should customize the world the way you want. Up here in the top left is the world seed. If you wanted to play the same world again, you would choose the same world seed that you had before. Here is the preview quality. There's default, which creates a map that looks like this. Here you can see the map that has been generated here. On the left here, you'll see the different colors that correspond with the different biomes on the map. Since I have selected biome layout of center forest, the forest will always be in the center. If I was to choose center wasteland, the wasteland would swap it. Biome layout circle looks more like this. Now instead of having one biome in the center surrounded by all the others, you have them all in different random locations on the map. This is what line looks like. I myself personally don't like this layout as much because if you had to get to another biome, you'd have to drive all the way across the map if you needed to get from, let's say, the forest to the wasteland. Adding preview quality of high looks more like this. The most important feature and the coolest is by using the WASD keys to maneuver around, shift key to go faster, and right click, you hold that, and you can spin it around. You can use the spacebar to go up and control to go down. To find your spawn point, you look for these little circles like this. There are always several around the map, so I wouldn't just assume you would spawn in the first spot where you see one of these spawn spots at. This, however, can give you advantages by giving you the location of where special POIs are. It even gives you the coordinates of where you would need to go. And just one more example, this is what many towns looks like, along with rivers, craters, cracks, and lakes.